We are, shall make sure that people who are able differently are recognized by everybody. <laughs> These talents you see, you know Tim Wanyonyi, an MP in a wheelchair, the first one to be elected on a wheelchair, is been, have been voted the best performing MP in Kenya several times. <laughs> Which means we have talent and we can use it. Sindio, our total are kohapa. They say they are very good in communication. They are very good in other things that cannot be recognized. So for us, we must make sure Madam Esther here must help us and the Kise to make sure we identify this talent. We identify and also make sure that they are not left behind. And when we are in parliament, we are your voice. Please, where you don't get somebody pushing your agenda, come to us. We shall use it. Next time, please, elect me as your governor in Nairobi. And this problem to solve to Mapema. <laughs> Mapema, Nairobi City Council or City County, all, all land in Nairobi. What is giving you just a small one acre, five acres? to put up a center like this, which is for our children and for Kenyans. Yeah. Sakaja should have been here. Atuambie atatupadia shamba wapi. Sinikweni? Ili, ii mambo ya kusema sijui lisi me expire, sijui ni mefaya ni iishe. And that is your permanent fusion. All right. My name is Esther Mushiri Wamae. I am a dyslexia specialist and a special needs educator. I am very excited today because October is the Dyslexia Awareness Month and we have been holding long month dyslexia awareness initiatives that have culminated today in a very beautiful gala dinner where we were showcasing the different talents that children with dyslexia have and also celebrating their strengths. My clarion call to the government is that we need to do more for children with special educational needs because as a country, yes, we have made some good strides, but we still have a lot of gap, and especially when it comes to teacher training. I call upon the government, national and county, in any county, not only here in Nairobi, where there is any center of such, they should come in hard and assist the parents. KCCL is parent-owned, no NGO, no government effort, and clearly you can see the work the parents are doing hosting a hundred children who may not go anywhere come January if we don't call friends like you and me today. And uh, time and again, the government put so much effort on university education, on TVET, on uh, tertiary, on secondary school, on primary school, and even to the bottom, the nursery schools.